Hey beauties, good uh, evening or good out. Yeah, good evening to you. So I was scrolling TikTok. There seemed to be some sort of a thing going on with, you know, I don't know, a particular dancer here in Jamaica and some lady that's a prophetess. But she said something that I realized that a lot of people don't understand. And I said I had to comment on it because people will run with folly. It is not true. Now, when God uses the word hate, now when God uses the word hate, it's not the way how we talk about hate when we hate somebody where we have a deep bitterness a deep dislike and anger resentment towards a human being towards somebody else that can perpetuate you know lifelong like ongoing you know there's some long longevity in it that is not the hatred he's talking about you know when god made humans he said you know this is a good thing i did when he made human beings although he went back and said why i can't regret making them when he saw how sinful we were now in the bible i think she mentioned something that god said he loved jacob but hated esau hate in the original means love less but in the case of jacob and esau please remember you know that esau was more a, an outside man you know like a warrior kind of man while jacob was a homebody guy and that is why his mother rebecca kind of favored him more than she favored her other son while isaac favored esau more because he was more like him and um he you know never ne didn't favor jacob as much however when god said he loved jacob and hated esau please understand that esau because he was a, a more for a man on the outside who could you know be like you know how you'd have some electrical man a contractor somebody who can do manual labor very well you know but in terms of um his emotional intelligence it wasn't up to par because he was able to be tricked by his own brother that he wasn't even that close with for to give up his birthright for a pot of stew so it is really god talking about the kind of mindset the, the kind of lacking emotional intelligence in esau he didn't he didn't hate esau God doesn't hate unless God hates the ways, the evil ways. God hates evil. God hates evil. That is what he hates. He doesn't hate people. So let me correct that, please. When Jesus said, unless you're prepared to love, for example, your mother, your husband, your wife, your child, your cousin, your auntie, your uncle, less. But some of the versions will use the word hate. Unless you hate your mother, hate your father. Jesus is not saying that you must hate them. He said, unless you're prepared to love them less. In other words, you put me above them, love me above them. You have to understand the original. Please, people, if you don't understand the Bible, seek understanding. Don't just take a scripture and read it. Check the biblical history. Check the Greek meaning. Check the Hebrew meaning. Check the original language because you will run with something that is not true. Please, I ask of you. Because when I heard that lady say it, I said, oh my goodness, I think she took it literal because she may not understand the historicity of or the meaning of the word hate. God doesn't hate any human being, whether you're good or bad, he will despise your ways. It's the same way, what I've done, you know, um, nowadays I break myself into to say, I dislike the person's ways. Because what ends up happening is that when you keep saying you dislike the person, you will even dislike the physical makeup of the individual. God made Esau. So it would, it would not make any sense for him to hate back the same thing that he made. And she continued to read the Bible after Jacob. Because remember Jacob and his mother, Jinnal, her own son, his own brother, with Isaac. And what happens, you know, whatever seed you sow, you reap. When he left and worked with his uncle Laban, Jacob, that is, his uncle Laban, Jinnal him for 14 years. The first seven years when he woke up, it was, um, what's, what's the first, Leah, he saw said her eyes were weak in other words she never so good looking and it, he wasn't interested in her he had to toil another seven years for for um rebecca for um rachel he had to toil so what i'm simply saying to you beautiful people is that uh, look here god does not hate people god does not hate people Please, I hope this girl, that girl will get that this message just not true. Please check the original meaning of the word hate, you know. And that is why I quoted the other scripture when Jesus said, unless you're prepared to hate your mother, father, he's not telling you to hate. 
Jesus is not telling you to hate your parents or your spouse or your child or your relatives or friends. He's saying, ensure that you follow the first commandment where you love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your mind, with all of your strength. So you love him entirely. He's the first being you love. Then everybody else will come afterwards. That's what he's saying. So the word, the language of the word hate means either to love less or he's talking about when he says hate Esau. It would have been Esau's emotional intelligence was weak. He never thought, he just, food guided him. Food guided him. And that's, you have some people who are like their food is and food will guide you. And that is something that the enemy can use against you. Create gluttony, create all kinds of things. Create gluttony, create all kinds of things. So when he says hate, it would be his ways or they or his his um his mindset the kind of mindset and or it could be talking about loving less that is what the original meaning of the word hate as it relates to when he mentioned about hating Esau and when Jesus and unless you hate your mother he, they're not talking about hatred in the way we understand it to be in bitterness unforgiveness resentment dislike no or anger or rage no please God loves people and if you check it, when when um, Jacob went back, you know, to his hometown to see his family, he knew that um, he would have booked, um, come across Esau. And uh, from afar, he said, oh, my God, he, he put his family aside because he said he probably figured um, Esau was still unforgiving, had resentment and would want to retaliate, you know, and get recompense. And when he saw Esau chasing after him, he said, oh, my God, this is it. He's going to probably kill me now that's it and Esau came and hugged him and hugged him and bawled and said my brother oh how I've missed you whatever and they had a conversation and you know Jacob wanted to um you know give back you know pay recompense sort of for what he had done to his brother and he said no I'm good God has blessed me with basically money too I have wealth I have what I need I have my army here and all of that that is what Esau told him so that would make any sense if God hated Esau you know, come on, people, please. Um, don't just read the scripture for seek. That is why it's imperative that when you hear things, you know, people, if you're, I don't know if you have a ministry in and of yourself, even if you have a ministry in and of yourself, no man is an island, no man stands alone. Still seek advice, seek help, study the word of God. Ask God to give you revelation, but you have to study to show yourself approved under God. You have to get knowledge you know get biblical history get the historicity of the bible the historicity of jesus what the word of god says get the meaning of the words when you hear certain words don't just take it like that say lord i need to understand what's the context of it it is very contextual please i really ask this of you my beauties all right so i hope it gets to that girl that's not what the word hate means all right i hear you say that god hates people no no absolutely not that's a farce all right i'm so sorry maybe you didn't understand and i'm not saying it to chide you you know but it is something that i'm going to encourage you to do when you read your bible get the try and get the greek try and get the hebrew the original meaning because when you do that you will understand the context or the real meaning of what he said so that you can get revelation from god all right so revelation is not just necessarily speaking in tongues and all of that because so as i said i did a video about the whole thing about speaking in tongues there is purpose to everything that god does it's there's meaning that to everything that god does when you do that there is healing that it brings to you and to, and probably to others there's a communication that he wants what do you communicate with him in the spirit you know so that you can bring deeper revelation to you um there's so many things you can be blessed financially with it but it's not just just speaking in tongues because you want to just speak in tongues to sound spiritual no you are being made that way but that's just a part of it all right so please i ask of you people listen to some solid preachers and speakers who have done theology hermeneutics you know or and homiletics is really the the, start, the the art of writing and preparing you know sermons but the hermeneutics biblical understanding and messages and meaning you have to get that it's not only about that but that's a major part of it theology is key because the, again the enemy will allow and that's part of ignorance because it may, meant that you are ignorant meaning you lack knowledge of what the meaning of the word hate means please 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 i beg i beseech of you search before you um promulgate something if you're not sure of it just do some research on it because you will spread something that is not so it may not be it may not be intentional when paul 
and the, the other members, you know, the disciples were on their way to missions. They heard this guy Apollos preaching, but it was not the full gospel. He wasn't preaching about the resurrection and on. And, and Paul just realized it and called him and said, Enter, come here. You mean well, but you know, this is that and that is that. Guys, follow me on TikTok. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please share.